This is how you take Claude 3.5 Sonnet and hack it to be your very own SEO machine. Add this custom tool and just like magic, you'll have an incredibly powerful SEO app that will get your content ranking on the first page of Google. But it gets better. It's 100% free and it only takes a click to get started. The power unleashed by Claude for SEO with this custom modification is unbelievable. Get way better results with way less effort. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribers to this channel have a passion for SEO and staying ahead of the curve. Now, if you're not familiar with Claude, this is what all the excitement is about. Claude Sonnet 3.5 is the leading AI. It outperforms all competitors on nearly all benchmarks. Blah, blah, blah. What you really want to know is that it's free, it's super fast, and if we add our SEO Chrome extension, we can supercharge it. So these are the three steps to take that will get you outranking your competition and grow your business. First, we're going to develop a comprehensive SEO strategy around our keyword or key phrase. Next, we're going to strategically generate the SEO content aligned with our strategy. And third, we're actually going to use the new Claude Artifacts tool to improve site visitor engagement and send even more positive ranking signals to Google. First, we need to install the Claude SEO Assistant Chrome extension. To get it, it is really easy. Just head to this site here. I will put a link in the description. It is the Ambitious Hub, and you can see the extension right here. You just click on that, and you are good to go. There's also a whole bunch of other free tools in here for, for SEO if you want to check them out. Alternatively, you can actually get the extension on the Chrome Web Store. If you just type in Claude SEO, you will find it is the number one extension available for Claude SEO. All right, so now we have the extension installed. If it's done correctly, you should see the little icon up the top and it should be pinned there. There are a whole bunch of ways you can generate a content strategy. What I'm going to show you here is the easiest and the free method using the extension. So I'm on the ambitious hub here and let's just say I want to generate a content strategy around SEO tools. I want a range of content. I want transactional content. I want informational content. I want commercial intent content. And the easiest way to do this is get the primary keyword and we'll give it to Claude and it's going to generate our strategy. Watch this. We open up Claude with the extension installed. You're going to see two new buttons. One says SEO strategy, and one says SEO blog. For this first step, we're going to use the SEO strategy. So we just click on it and you're going to get this pop up really easy. Just enter in our keyword or our key phrase. Next, we now have a choice of how many keyword clusters we want to generate by keyword. It'll make more sense when you see it. I'm going to go for five here and then I can explain it. So that's all you have to do and just press submit and let Claude and the extension do the rest. And that's it. It's amazing. So Claude has produced the SEO content strategy. So I'm just going to copy the table it generated and paste it into Google Sheets. And so here we have the content strategy that was generated by Claude and the extension. And just going through the columns, we have keyword cluster. We have the keyword it's targeting, the search intent that is informational, commercial, transactional. We have the title. This is the suggested title for a blog article and also the meta description. All the hard work is done. Now you can do this for anything. It doesn't matter whether you're in e-commerce, professional services, accounting, a gym. This works. Time to generate some SEO content. We're just going to pick one of these suggested blog titles here. I'm going to go with Track Your SEO Success, Five Best Rank Tracking Tools. So I'll just copy that. Then we just head back over to Claude. Now we're going to use the SEO blog tool. So I'm just going to click on this one. Again, you're going to get a pop-up. Just paste in the title. So we've got that in there. Then you can choose the tone, how you want the, the vibe of the, the article to feel. So its default is business, but I'm going to go with casual. And then all you need to do is submit that. All 
All right, so our content has been generated. I'm just going to copy it and we'll chuck it over in a document so we can take a look. All right, so here's our article. You can see it's come across in markdown format. If you have a look down in the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you can see it's nearly 1,100 words. It's a mixture of paragraphs, bullet points, lists. It's got all this kind of combination that indicates helpful, good quality SEO content. And if we go right down the bottom, it also gives you some notes associated with the article. If you go to the trouble of publishing your content, make sure you get Google to index it. If you don't force it, it could take weeks, if not months, for Google to pick it up and start giving impressions so you get clicks. So once you've published it, just head over to Google Search Console, do a URL inspection, and if it's not indexed, just click Force the Indexing and you'll be good. All right, this is really cool. So you might be familiar with the idea that if you add an infographic or a quiz to your page, you can get organic backlinks. You can also get higher rankings because users that visit your site spend more time on your site. So what we're going to do is use Claude Artifacts to build a tool that users are going to interact with, and it's going to be really cool. So I'm going to do something really simple, but the choices are endless. I'm going to ask Claude to build the classic snake game. So can you build the classic snake game so I can add it to my website? We just hit go. And using this new feature called Artifacts, it's going to write the code in a window on the right-hand side of the screen. So there it goes. Now you could get it to develop an interactive quiz. You could do an interactive infographic, whatever you like. I have published the game. It's on the Ambitious Hub. You can see it right here. I can press Start and away it goes. I'll probably crash. But anyway, you can check that out. Now, I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, give it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Grab yourself that Chrome extension. It's free. And I look forward to catching you in the next video.